Hello, and welcome to Your Passive Legacy Podcast, where we talk about how you can quit trading your time for money. This is your host, Master Coach Eve, and today we're going to be talking about how you can market a front-end product. First of all, you need to have a product. That, that you, can, you can do this two ways. You can either have an affiliate product and allow them to do the sales copy for you, or you can have your own front-end product. Now, the affiliate product is usually going to have its sales page all made up for you, and you don't have to do that because you're, you're just getting money off of the front end. However, if you create your own information product or your own product, your front end product, you're going to need sales copy. And that sales copy, based off of how much your product is, say, for instance, your product is $28. That, I like that number, $28. It comes up a lot. $28. Okay. Your sales copy might be a paragraph. You know, it doesn't have to be long because $28 is not that much money. However, if your product is $2,800, your sales copy could easily be a page to two pages or three pages long, depending on what it is that you're offering. You're going to want to have testimonials on that page. You're going to, because that serves as uh, social proof. Okay, you're going to want to have um, pictures, videos, if possible. Um, you, If you do pictures, you can do before and after. You can have before and after uh, images or before and after testimonials. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have several buy buttons, at least two to three. Okay, and you don't introduce those two to three buttons until you're at least, I would say, two thirds of the page down because people don't want to buy things immediately they want to be convinced so make sure that you have sales copy that is amazing because people are going to be reading them and some people are going to be hard to convince okay um i would suggest that you buy a domain specifically for this particular product so that you don't have to worry about um so you don't have to worry about not having the right setup just buy a domain from godaddy.com and call it a day, okay? (laughs) I think a lot of people do that and it works out great. So if you're going to market a front-end product, make sure that you have its own domain and then when you are marketing it, you can advertise that specific URL and cut out all the extra noise, okay? Marketing a front-end product requires excellent sales copy you have to have good sales copy and you're also going to want to have traffic uh the bane of my existence traffic traffic is not easy to come by now you need to think about where you're going to get your traffic from if you're sending it from social media that's great but most people are going to have a problem with traffic now you can do paid traffic or you can do organic traffic organic that's basically when you get it for free and paid traffic. You can do solo ads, you can do Facebook ads, you can do Facebook boost. Facebook boosts are different than Facebook ads. You can do uh, Google AdWords. Now, here's the thing about that. You need to be really careful about how you spend your marketing money. If you're not experienced with that, I would really strongly suggest either outsourcing this to someone who is because I find a lot of my clients will spend money on advertisement on Facebook and then not get their money's worth because they don't know how to target their audience. So when you're targeting your audience and you know exactly who they are, you know who their their customer persona is, you know, you you can easily, easily make it so that you're targeting the right person. But if you don't know who your person is and you're you're targeting everyone, that's a mistake. In marketing, that's a mistake. You need to get as specific as possible. Where do they live? What are the demographics? What are the psychographics? Who are they? What do they think about life? Okay, you need to know this. Are they married? Do they have kids? Do they rent or own? Are they, you know, making $50,000 a year or less? Or are they, you know, how much do they make? So these are the questions that you need to ask before you go and market anything. Find out if your product is viable and then 
you go and you make sure that you're targeting the right person. You cannot target everyone. That is a mistake. Okay? So marketing a front-end product, it requires a product, first of all, whether you are using someone else's product, which usually you don't have to come up with a sales copy. But if it's your own product, you need to have a sales copy. The, the cheaper the product, the less sales copy you need. And you want to make sure that you buy your own domain. That just seems like a better way to go. But However, you do not need to do that. But it makes it better. Good luck with this. I know you'll do great. And I wish you the best of luck. If you need some insight, go to yourpassivelegacy.com and check out what we have over there in the resources. All right. Until next time, you have a great day.